everybody before we get into this morning's update i want to go over a quick overview of what you can expect as we go step by step into the update first we're going to talk about johnny deaton and i'm going to share an article of where he anticipates xrp price to start uh, having some fomo he talks about as well in another article where he expects the price to be before a settlement actually happens so i'm going to read a little bit from both articles and now we're not going to take this as fact we're just going to take this as conjecture and a little bit of uh, talk from Johnny Deaton and see how accurate he actually is. A lot of times we found out that there's been a lot of FUD put in in this case. But as I've talked about since 2021, the moment we get to mid, around the end of the second quarter and in the Q3, that is when you can have anything happen in this case because it's dragged out far too long. And now we're getting into mid to late 2023. And this is where big things can happen. XRP's price did exactly what we thought it would over this holiday weekend. And happy Memorial Day to everybody out there. Make sure you give thanks to the veterans and the ones who sacrificed their own selves to give us what we have now in the terms of supposed freedom. Um, as far as the price, though, it got up to just around that 482 level like we thought. Right now, we're sitting at about the 0.481 level. It is in XRP's best interest to get on top of 482, hold that support structure. But there is a possibility of coming back down to not 46 cents, but around that 474 level. That's a nice support structure as well. So we'll see if we bounce around these levels. But if we continue pushing up, the next level would be that 494, 50 cents, and then we'll be looking at that 522 level. We're trying to continue this inverted head and shoulders. And if we do this properly, it should get you all the way up to that 58 and a half cent mark, possibly the 60 cent formation up top. But you could get a strong rejection at um, 494 or 50 cents. That's why we're watching these levels very closely. But right now things are looking a small bit bullish, tad bit bullish just because of the formations. Make sure you hit that like button as it can greatly help push me through the analytics. If you have any respect for the time I put in each and every day or the fact that I haven't missed a day in over two and a half years, subscribe to the channel and show your support. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 9.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, May 29th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So, I want to start out with this before we get into the charts, before we get into the technical analysis, before we look at Bitcoin and the total crypto market cap, and to take a look to see where the DXY is at this Monday morning, because it was moving around a little bit here with gold and silver. Yes, the stock market and future, or the stock market's closed today, but other things are open. So I want to read this real quick. Pro XRP attorney predicts the altcoins rally to $2 ahead of SEC versus Ripple verdict. So this is where we can get a little bit of, um, to see how much of a confluency we have with Johnny Deaton and see how much he actually understands about the price action. Attorney John Deaton says XRP price is on track to recover and set a target of $2. So that means on our 10,000 shares we bought at $3,500 at $0.35, cents, that would be worth $20,000 on just those 10,000 shares, which means if you bought it there, you'd be up $16,500 at $2, which means, you know, you basically 6 x your money just at 2 bucks. That's the importance of buying in bear markets, not bull markets. Deaton and Ripple CTO David Schwartz says Hinman emails will likely be made public soon irrespective of the verdict. The document are key to the defense of Ripple and other crypto entities like Coinbase that are subject to a regulatory crackdown. The community of XRP token holders, I'm not gonna read all of this. I just wanted you to hear Johnny Deaton's opinion. The community of XRP token holders await a verdict in the US Securities and Exchange Commission SC lawsuit against Ripple. Three key aspects of the case could influence the verdict and subsequently XRP price. The emails from former director of the SEC's Division of Corporate Finance, Ripple's Fair Notice Defense, and the consideration of whether sales are Done in primary or secondary markets. Ripple Chief Technology Officer CTO David Schwartz and XRP proponent attorney John Deaton shed light on one of the three key factors earlier um, today. The emails from former director of SEC's Division of Corporation Finance. These emails contain information on the SEC's take on whether cryptocurrency, specifically Ether, is a security or not. Now, we've already, we know all of this, the release of the um, the Hinman documents and all that, but I wanted you to see what Johnny Deaton is saying. And then to piggyback off of that, 
XRP to the moon pro ripple lawyer expects FOMO to kick in at this price. So, and the ongoing legal tussle. So, this is what he's saying. XRP sits at 48 cents and it's crazy to think that about how many people who refuse to buy it now are going to buy it over $1. What's even more crazy is that FOMO won't likely kick in until $2. So, he's saying FOMO, he believes will kick in at $2. So, that's Johnny Deaton. He believes XRP's price to go to $2 approximately even before so he says i just want you to see exactly what he said so attorney johnny d or john deaton says xrp price is on track to recover and set a target at two dollars so that's what he's looking at ahead of the sec versus ripple verdict so he's thinking it, it's possible but he's also saying that fomo won't kick in until two dollars so some of these people can also be putting their fun spin on it so i wanted you to see that from me instead of from somebody else and now, as you can see, XRP is right around the 48 cent mark. What does XRP have to do this morning to continue this bullish push? First things first, we want to be on top of that 482 level. We knew it was coming up here. And a lot of people think it just died just now, but it did not. In the two hour time frame, it had to come down and test the 20 day. Now you just don't want to see it getting sandwiched. But right now, it could be a little bull flag that's formed and can bring us up to the 494. If you get a rejection at 482 and then all of a sudden find yourself under the 477 support, that's a big problem. That's a big problem because it could bring you back down to the 4.6 level. But right now, standard operating procedure, folks. Standard operating procedure. If we go into the four-hour time frame, as you can see, the inverted head and shoulders is creating beautifully. I mean, absolutely spectacularly. It actually looks rather perfect right now. And then if you look, the 4.74 area, that's the support I was talking about in the earlier update or in the intro. That's a major support level on this breakdown because after a descending triangle breakout and hold now 474 is going to be your next hold level to get you up to 494 even though you do have the 482 level in between if you're looking at the other xrp chart this all runs very well together that's the all-time chart we were just on now if we go to the short-term chart the importance of this is you held the descending triangle and or symmetrical triangle i really you know your interpretation means it all for you but we held it right down here off of the formation bounce out which looks like an inverted head and shoulders not only held the 44 cents, came back up, held 46. Now we're coming up and trying to revert back over the 482 level. We came down to hit the support at 474. So right now we're not trying to fall below 474, as you've seen on the long-term pattern. And we're trying to bounce back to the 482 and then move up to 494. And ultimately, at some point, try to find ourselves on top of 50 cents. So that's the immediate short term for XRP. You've seen the articles that came out where Johnny Deaton expects FOMO to kick in after $2.00. But there's also some speculation that he's saying that he believes it can get to $2 before, you know, the case is actually over. But I believe that might be the, who put that article, that could be their FUD spin on it. Because both of them don't exactly say the same thing. One says he expects FOMO over $2 when it hits $2 or higher. The other one says that he anticipates the price could get to $2 before a re resolution of the case. But that just seems to be piggybacking off of what he said about FOMO at 2 bucks. So make sure you take that with caution. Bitcoin, 27921 down about a half a percent this morning. Came up to 28000 perfectly like we talked about. We telegraphed this. And right now, we could have a big W reverse, but we telegraphed this move. We talked about how it had to come up to 28000 to either get rejected or get on top, hold 28, and then make a push back up to 29. And right now, we've had a golden cross in the two-hour time frame on Bitcoin. It's likely it's almost happened in the three hour. It's already happened now in the three hour. It hadn't happened last night. And now in the four hour, you're about to have a golden cross. So if I'm, if I'm like speculating, like we said before these pump ups, everybody was calling for a dump. Everybody thought this market was getting ready to crash. And I said, this doesn't seem right at 25,800. It feels to me like it would have to go to 28,000 before a rejection, even if we were to get rejected. But to me, when everybody's crying, it's going to go down when everybody's saying we should short the market. That is when you should be the most cautious. And that's why I told everybody, I feel like it's going up and it has. It's up about 2,500 points on Bitcoin. And now Bitcoin's at the all important moment. It's going to try to hold 28,000, but it can come back down and validate this bullish cross here at 27,500 approximately in the four hour where it's going to happen. A lot of times it does come down to the meat for some liquidity for a move up. But if this is in fact a W reversal, as we've been talking about, and the inverted head and shoulders, here's your W reversal here, and it's rather large, if this is actually playing out. Look at this. And then if it holds here, now you're talking about moving up into here, and you'll contend with 30,000 after 29. So pay very close attention. If you want to join me, 
and join Tom's Army. That's in the video description below if you want to send a donation. Been a while since I got one of those, but that's okay. I do this work, and the people who support me and watch each and every update is the most important thing to me. But if you do want to send a donation, send XRP or join Tom's Army. That's in the video description below and or pinned comments. If you want to uh, find a way to trade XRP or your favorite crypto with no spot fees on the buy and sell and futures trade up to 250x long you're shorting the market, max C and or BitGuide in the video description below and or pinned comments. I want to end this update with the total crypto market cap and then we'll end on the DXY. Total crypto market cap, as we've talked about, and I feel like a broken record, but we really needed to be. We've created a W reversal here. And if you go into the daily time frame, just like with Bitcoin, it looks like an inverted head and shoulders was formed. And now we're about to pay the piper here, it looks like. If we can get back above the 1.139 and ultimately on top of the 1.18, we've talked about in the past how this pattern formation is not technically done until it comes up to around the 1.327 if it were to drag out and hit over here. Could all possibly come up to the 1.52, but we take it by level. So right now, the only thing you need to pay attention to is, is that 1.139 rejection or is this the next level of liquidity? And since we've already had a golden cross in the three hour, just happened, we'll probably get a support touch down here around 1.105 or 1.095. 1.10 would be the more ideal hit. And we're working on a golden cross now in the four hour as well. So these are positive indicators right now. The DXY is up about a 0.05%. But the DXY is it's not, I don't want to say it's in correction mode, but it's going to be getting towards correction mode here once we get to the four hourly. Because we're going to have to have some kind of retest here. And is it going to come up to 105 spot 31st? I would say it's probably if you look at the two hour. If we lose the two hour, we might have to come down quicker. But right now, we're still showing a little bit of momentum here. It's kind of once we fall through here, first we come down to 103 spot 90 and confirm the 103 spot 674. We've not done that yet. So it'd be a little bit hard for me to believe that we're just going to parabolically spike without retesting 103 spot 674. So pay attention to that. Hashtag be better, do better. Hashtag fought a sass. And remember, help one person each and every day because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, it's going to be very hard to navigate this um, this chapter of crypto through 2025. And as you can see, gold, silver, commodities under a lot of pressure. We've got the U.S. 10-year down about 0.36%. I'm waiting to see tomorrow if it just spikes again. But remember, we're more thinly traded today. Stock market is not open today for Memorial Day. But you still have the DXY moving a little bit. You got the gold and silver bullion and stuff on. You just don't have commodities open. Crude oil is down three quarters of a percent. Stay blessed, everybody. I'll catch you on this afternoon's update.